in journalism, follow the money is practically a catchphrase. And for good reason. Following the money often takes you to good stories, important stories and original stories. In this very brief video, I'm just going to talk about some of those stories to give you an idea of the wide range of stories that you can get from company accounts and following the money. In later videos, I'll talk about different places to look and different types of stories that you can find, some of them from numbers and some of them from words. But the main thing to point out here is that company accounts are great sources of newsworthy stories. Here are just a few of the uh, few examples of stories that have involved some sort of looking at company accounts. In the upper left, you've got the story of Byron Burgers. This was a, a company which essentially um, tipped off the immigration services to its own workers. Um, but a quick look at the company account saw that it was sending lots of money overseas and therefore avoiding paying tax in the UK. On the left, you've got a story about the structure of companies behind the, com the campaign behind uh, Jeremy Corbyn. We've got questions being raised over a charity that a conservative politician has set up to um, apparently help military families. And we've got stories about house builders um, not making, not paying tax and getting subsidies. And we've got stories about academy schools who don't actually say anything about potential conflicts of interest. These are just a few examples. It doesn't have to be necessarily complex. This story about a particular footballer and how he was written off in the company accounts is a very straightforward case of just reading the accounts and seeing something interesting in there. Likewise, in the bottom right, we've got a very simple story about a number of different media groups and some bad news in their company accounts. Topical issues are a good reason to start to dig into particular company accounts as well. This is a, a story from Private Eye, which is a, a good place to find tip-offs and kind of um, leads around company accounts. And this was a story about uh, how many probation st staff uh, have been cut. So they just looked at the company accounts and staffing numbers in those company accounts. These were some tweets around uh, Grenfell and the, um, the amount that was being charged for alarm systems, again, from the company accounts. And when the Conservative leadership uh, election happened, when a new leader was being elected, Companies House was one way to dig into the people who were putting themselves up to be the leader of the Conservative Party. In this case, one candidate for the leadership described herself as a marketing director generally, but when you looked on Companies House, that didn't actually seem to be what she was described as there. You can dig into particular sectors and particular issues by looking, again, at where the money is going. This is a story by Ian Birrell for Tortoise on the way that the um, care home industry works. And again, that involves looking at where the money is flowing and how many profits are being made and indeed where those profits go. A more simple story might be how much sales rose at a noteworthy company. If Amazon are in the news and their new company account comes out, then that's going to be newsworthy. And of course, you can look at tax and you can look at how money is moved in and out of different countries. You can start to profile different companies as well who might be of interest around a particular issue. This is a fantastic example from the New York Times from Jane Bradley who's actually a British journalist looking at the, um, the companies that received spending during the pandemic when normal rules about um, opening up contracts to competitive tender so different people could bid for those contracts. In this case that didn't happen and lots of contracts, lots of companies, sorry, got contracts without having to compete for them. What uh, these journalists did is looked at the companies who got the money and then started to identify connections between those companies and uh, 
political parties and individual politicians and indeed each other. There were concerns raised about rapid COVID tests and again in terms of companies being given contracts in this case companies house was used to very quickly find out and very simply a very simple process that um, it had no fixed assets it was basically a very tiny company that you wouldn't really expect to be getting these massive contracts and you can look at music as well and other areas like fashion um, were anything where money's involved and you can start to map the empires involved. So let's sum up some of those types of stories that I've just gone through. First of all, you can find stories in what the company or their director says. All company accounts involve some sort of statement, or most of them do, from the people in charge. You can look at conflicts of interest or abuses of power. You can use company accounts to bring some context to a news story. The company account itself might not be the story, but it gives you some extra detail to the story that you're telling that happens to involve a company or a director. Company accounts are a good place to find warning signs about potential problems and concerns. They're also a good place to identify staff cuts which might also indicate problems. You can use multiple company accounts to make comparisons between different companies or identify trends in the particular field that you're looking at. And of course, there's the money. How much tax is a company paying? Or indeed, how much is it not paying? Are costs going up or going down? Likewise, profits. Is a company getting into more and more debt? Does this have an impact on jobs? And finally, you can simply map the empire of a particular uh, organisation or the complex web behind a particular individual by using what's called network analysis and mapping the connections between companies and directors. So those are some of the types of stories that I want you to be thinking about as you start to explore company accounts. And to begin with, you can find a whole bunch of company accounts, a whole bunch of examples in the folder on GitHub, the accounts folder that I've shared with you for this course. You'll find lots of examples there and pretty much all of them have some sort of story or story lead in them. So just download a few of those and see if you can spot story leads or story ideas just by looking through the examples on there. Now, once you've found a story idea or a lead, then go onto Slack and put a brief summary, just one line, uh, just saying what you're interested in. And don't look at the other answers before you do that. Once you've done that, you can look at the other answers and see how other people might have had different ideas or seen different leads in the same accounts or in different accounts.